Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Late Night with Alan Delgado. Tonight, your guest, David Palomino, is joining us all the way from Los Angeles. Hope you're all staying safe indoors, and here's your host, Alan Delgado. Hello! Welcome to another episode of Late at Night. I'm your host, Alan Delgado. I hope you're all keeping safe and healthy and washing your hands. Now let's talk about the format of this series. We are moving from two guests per episode to one guest per episode. This will shorten the length of the series and also provide our guests with more efficient screen time. And let's be honest, you don't want to see me talking for a camera for too long, now do you? The first piece of news is that I need a haircut really badly, but all the barbers in my town are currently closed due to COVID-19. So if you have any recommendations of what I should do with my hair for the time being, let me know. The Olympic Games scheduled for summer 2020 in Tokyo, Japan has been postponed to July 2021. While I do believe this is a smart decision to be made at the time, the Games will oddly remain branded as Tokyo 2020 as opposed to Tokyo 2021. This gave me the idea that when January 1st rolls again, instead of transitioning to 2021, we should just repeat the year 2020 from the beginning. We'll scratch this past year off our history. We can all just forget about it. On a special at-home episode of Jimmy Come Alive, actress Courtney Cox, who you may recognize for her hit role as Monica in the sitcom Friends, actually admitted that she does not remember being on the show. Cox said, I don't remember even being on the show. I have such a bad memory. I remember obviously loving everybody there and having fun, and I remember certain times of my life I was there, but I don't remember episodes. In all honesty, this is an amazing opportunity for Courtney to join all of us on all of us in self-quarantine by binge-watching Friends. If it weren't for the fact that Netflix took off Friends from their platform, it just seems that Netflix is really trying to punish us all in this self-quarantine by taking off our favorite shows. While many of us are busy binge-watching shows on Netflix or Hulu or Disney+, Plus, others are partaking in what apparently is at-home concerts. Many musicians are performing their songs live on Instagram or YouTube for their fans. Vox recently hosted the iHeartRadio Living Room Concert, where they hosted performers such as Billie Eilish, Camila Cabello, Mariah Carey, Alicia Keys, Backstreet Boys, and Sam Smith. I actually took the time from my day to sit down and watch the iHeartRadio Living Room concert. And let me tell you, it was much better than the actual concert. There was no obnoxious yelling, no shoving, or no person waving their phones in the air. However, it did feel a bit weird yelling at my TV hoping my favorite artist will notice me. In other news, Burger King is bringing back its Big King XL Burger this week on April 2nd. The Big King XL Burger is made of half a pound of beef, melted cheese, onions, pickles, lettuce, and a savory sauce all on a toasted sesame bun. Burger King claims that this burger has 175% more beef than McDonald's Big Mac. McDonald's decides to respond back with their triple Big Mac, and Burger King is fighting back with their Big King XXXXXXXXXXL Burger. It just seems to me that both McDonald's and Burger King are competing to see which burger can create the biggest heart attack. Stepping outside the globe for a second, the Mars Inside Lander got stuck into a spot of bother and scientists came up with their best possible solution. Hit it with a shovel. Let me just mention that NASA is a multi-billion dollar program and they are solving their problems the same way I am solving my problems. Finally, Fifty Shades actress Dakota Johnson posted an unusual video on her Instagram where she crowned herself the Hands Wash Championship. She showed her fans and the entire world how to properly wash your hands. Take a look. Um, it's Dakota. Thank you so much for asking me to tell you how I wash my hands because I've been waiting my whole life, the whole thing, for somebody to tell me, ask me to do that, to show them how I wash my hands. And now it's really important because 
people need to know. So let me show you. First, I'm going to turn on the tap. And I'm hose it down. I really like to hose my hands down with this spray because the water gets the dust off. And then I get some soap and I do a couple of pumps. And I don't care about it. I just drop it because I'm into washing my hands. So I'm going to scrub them. I like to scrub them really, really fast, but I like to lower them a little bit because sometimes I hit myself in the face. <laughs> even her hands. They're her boyfriend Chris Martin's hands. At this moment, I would like to promote Dakota Johnson's new YouTube channel, Dakota Johnson's Tutorials. When we come back, we have our first official segment of the show. Today is National What Day? Welcome back to Late at Night. I'm your host, Alan Delgado. Now, today we are starting a new segment called Today is National What Day? Did you know that today is National Virtual Vacation Day? So pop in those VR glasses and enjoy a day on the beach because God knows when we will be able to go to the beach again. Today is also National Turkey Neck Soup Day. I guess this is one holiday where chickens celebrate because they are not the ones being eaten. Funny enough, did you also know today is National Take a Walk in the Park Day? Something is telling me that not many people would, will be participating in this holiday this year. It is also National Break a Pencil Day. <laughs> Lastly, did you also know it is National Doctors Day? I would like to take a moment to thank doctors and nurses around the globe for combating COVID-19. Without their help, the world will be in a much worse position than it is today. So thank you for your service. Welcome back to Late at Night. I'm your host, Alan Delgado. Tonight we have our guest, David Palomino, all the way from Los Angeles. Woo! Hey, Alan. How are you, David? I am I am all good. It is sunny over here in Los Angeles at 2 p.m. <laughs> yeah, it's like 5 p.m. now over here. Yeah, time, it's crazy. <laughs> so David, how is self-quarantine treating you? I mean, I mean, it's like, it's a lot, no? Because you're like staying inside all the time. And like, I've got two adorable puppies. So I'm just like cuddling them all the time. And it's like really cute. But like three days ago, I went on a walk for like the first time in forever. And oh my God, I am still riding on that high. Like, I cannot explain to you just how much the wind in my face is beautiful. <laughs> I feel like everyone is dying to experience the outside world. For example, my sisters and I now fight each other to see which one of us takes out the garbage to the street. <laughs> the most outside we see nowadays. Oh my god. Yeah, we're... It, 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 it's a little sad. Let's yeah, be honest. It, <laughs> it is. But hopefully everyone gets to appreciate the outside world once this whole self-quarantine is over. I know. I'm just like looking longingly outside my window and I'm like, God, to be a... Look at that. A bird, so beautiful. Like I'm crying. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. Honestly. So David, no. so David, we first met in our first year of college at Prince University. Yes. Would you like to tell the audience of how the story of when we first met? Yeah. So um, Alan and I, we're we're both in mock trial, which is an awesome program at at Princeton. Um, the first time I've ever heard Alan's name was when we were being initiated and like who would become our team captain was screaming out like rhymes as to who was <laughs> going to be in our team. She was like, Alan Delgado, attorney aficionado. SU, <laughs> yeah. I, I still call you that. Yes. I think we should just change the name of the show to Late at Night with Alan Delgado. Attorney aficionado. Attorney aficionado. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, like, that was the first time I just, like, heard your name, though. Like, I didn't actually, like, know you that well. And so, like, the first time we actually really met was when, like, we had practice for the first time. And, like, it was on our first week or something. And we were put into, like, this God knows what part of campus. We didn't know campus back then. It was, like, our first month there. And you remember what time, like, practice was, right? Like, how late yeah, was it? It was pretty late. It was 10 to midnight. <laughs> Yeah, it was like 10 to like around midnight or like 1130 or something, right? Yeah. And so like, it's it, like practice is ending. We're walking out and you like, you turn over to me and you're like, David, 
And I'm like, Alan. And then you tell me that you have an Italian test due at midnight <laughs> in 30 minutes. Like, can you tell me, like, what, why? <laughs> I was hoping I was going to be able to do it in practice, and clearly I wasn't. And there was, like, 25 minutes left, and the Italian test was not done yet. <laughs> yeah, it was, so there was, like, 25 minutes left. You and I are, like, way Running down. Running across campus really fast. <laughs> yeah, so we're, like, way down campus, and, I'm, and you're just like, I got to go. And I'm like, I got to go and support you. <laughs> <And so we're, laughs> you went all the way with me to my dorm. All the way. It was, we were running so fast. And we were just like, I was like shouting and you're just like, why do you do this? And I'm like, I don't, and you're like, I don't know why. I, did this. I don't know what was going on. The moment I realized that we were friends, that we were going to be friends, was like, after that whole ordeal was over, like I go back to my dorm, I like slump into bed, exhausted after running like halfway across <laughs> campus. <laughs> I get a text from you like 20 minutes later saying, hey, I turned it in. <laughs> it was a good moment. That's you know, when we became friends. That's when we became friends. <laughs> so, Princeton officially transitioned to an online school, and you're back in Los Angeles, California. Yeah, so, sunny LA. <laughs> how is California being affected by the ongoing virus? I mean, it's like, it's a loaded question. How is the virus affecting anywhere? <laughs> it changes day by day, hour by hour, and sometimes... If you like just refresh the news, it changes by minute. There's so many, yeah, there's so many news updates. So many news updates. And so like the the biggest news that has come out for California is is one, the governor saying that he estimates 67% of California will be affected by the virus or infected by the virus. So that's scary in and of itself. But Air, mayor Eric Garcetti, the mayor of Los Angeles, has said that in one to two weeks, we might see levels of infection going towards that of New York. And that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. New York and, has half the cases of the nation. Right. And so, like, I'm sitting here, you know, in LA, and I'm like, that's I not really good. like, yeah, like, I really liked going outside. Will I? No. Anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing that the coronavirus affected is schools and a lot of schools transition to what apparently is zoom university god oh my god i don't even know what to say about zoom university because like the like the barrage of memes online <laughs> just does not do it justice and from my understanding zoom is selling merchandise like t-shirts and stickers that promote zoom university yeah I, I can believe that. I really can. Because it honestly is a phenomenon. Like, in, in seminar, my professor, like, looked at us today on screen and was like, so I'm sorry you're at Zoom University. <laughs> but this is how it is now. I'm just saying, the person, the people who invested a lot of money into Zoom are probably benefiting a lot right now. Oh my God, they were like, popping off can you imagine the amount of money like i think we're like zoom is like a 20 dollars a share now or something and it was like at cents or in one dollars and one dollar bills like a year ago and in the course of a week millions of americans are not using zoom oh my god like can you imagine the computer programmer <laughs> who was, like woken up in the middle of the night and told all the Ivies are now using Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a lot. And then eventually they were like, yeah, in addition to all the Ivies, all other colleges, high schools, middle schools, and elementary schools are also transitioning to Zoom. I can feel the stress coming from that Zoom programmer. He's probably like dying right now. You have 48 hours to change all the servers and be able to host all these people. <laughs> I'd honestly die. It's not my job. It's not any of our jobs. I feel sympathy for them. I feel so much sympathy. All right. So let's stop talking about the virus because it's the only thing that anyone ever talks about. And let's play a game. How does that sound? Yeah, sounds great. Okay. So the game we're playing tonight is Guess the Kids Theme Song. So I'm going to play kids' theme songs, and you have to guess what they're from. So they're going to range from different kid shows, one from baby kid shows to one to, like, 10-year-old kid shows or whatever. 
is there like an era? Is it like early 2000s? Early 2000s. Shows that you and I will recognize, people around our age. Not, yeah. not shows that are playing now, because we probably won't recognize them. Unless okay. you watch Nick Jr. In your, in your spare time right now. Honestly, though? <laughs> <laughs> Backyardigans? The stuff. <laughs> okay. So, the first one's going to be easy. Ready? Do, 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 do. Oh, what is that? Is that? I can keep playing it, but it will tell you the answer. Okay. Is it Blue's Clues? No. I don't know. What is it? Max and Ruby. Oh, my Ruby God. And Max. <laughs> Max and Ruby. All right. Here's the next good show. I'm Pablo. My name's Tyrone. I'm Uniqua. I'm. Do, 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 do. Um. Hey, did he say hi? I'm Pablo. Yeah. Hi, All the I'm characters Pablo. introduce themselves in the beginning. Is that the Backyardigans? The Backyardigans. Hi. I'm yes. Pablo. My name's Tyrone. Oh my god. I love I'm that Uniqua. show growing up. Oh, wait, 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 that, that song makes me feel so good, but I... It's, it's a Nickelodeon show, right? It is. Oh, what is it? Um, dude, I know it, you're gonna... Okay, I don't... What is it? Rugrats. Okay, next one we have is... Let's see which one we should go with. Let's go with this one. To be honest, I got no idea. No? Have you ever seen Courage the Cow the Dog? Give me a hint, give me a hint. It featured only one, two human characters. Only two human characters, and the other characters were not human. Only two human characters, and the other characters were not human. It's not Danny Finn. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's Foster's Home of Imaginary Friends. Dark conspiracy though. Okay, but do you know what this one is? No. It is Ed, Ed, and Eddie. The last one. Is this a Grim Reaper one with the Grim no. Reaper? All of these sound really tropical. <laughs> this one has. It's about a group of teens and their pet. I need some perk. No. God damn. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, I don't know children's shows as well as I know. Yeah. <laughs> this was Scooby-Doo. So, thank you for coming to the show. You've been a yeah. wonderful guest. Thanks for having me. This was a lot of fun. Take care, make sure to wash your hands. Six feet apart. <laughs> Don't touch your face. Never. Okay. Yeah, good, good to see you, Alan. All right, hopefully we'll see you again. Thank you for coming. Well, that's the show for tonight. Thank you for watching another episode of Late at Night. I'm your host, Alan Delgado. Please keep safe and healthy, wash your hands, and I will see you next time.